So, the enemy of men, heirloom crafty, guarded the horde for three hundred winters, gold was round until one angered him, enraging his heart. The thief carried the cup to his lord, garnished with gold and crusted with gems. He asked his owner for a peace promise to heal their feud. The horde had been raided, its riches drained by a precious cup. His lord relented, seeing the heirloom for the first time with longing eyes. The worm had awakened. Strife was renewed. He sniffed the long stones, sensing the man's score in his enemy's tracks. The thief had crept near the dragon, yet an undoomed man may survive exile and suffering with good faith in God's grace. The horde guard sought eagerly along the ground to greet the thief who had caught him napping. Hum asleep. Fierce and flaming, the savage worm sought near the barrel. No one skulked in that barrel wasteland. On the scent of battle, he was keen for killing. Sometimes he crawled back in the barrel, searching for the cup. The dragon discovered that a man had disturbed. Man had disturbed his beautiful. Man had disturbed his beautiful treasure. He waited with hot patience until evening. A barrel guard swollen with fury. He would trade death fire for the drinking cup, the taste of rage. Daylight dropped down, as the worm wanted. He would not wait long near the cave wall, but would soar in the air with savage fire. The onset was ominous to Yayats on the ground. The end would be agony to their treasure giver, their beloved Lord. <laughs> spread like a burning light to tear it to men. The spitfire left nothing living, nothing quick among the dead. The worm's rage was like a... was alive in the dark. His cruel killing, his slaughter flames, both near and far. His feud of fire with the neighboring Yeats. Then he fled to his cave hall, secret Secure, hiding at dawn. He had circled and slain, sheathing houses and men in a blaze of flame. He trusted his cave and his courage, his barrel and battle lades, but he, he was sorely deceived. He holed up under stone. <laughs> 